Welcome to this um, official channel and my name is Sasito. For those who are new here, I am a radiographer and for these past videos that I have been posting, I have been sharing my Coro registration and recognition process. Now for this video, I am going to talk about the Coro language requirements and uh, more details on this one. So you can hear, as you can hear my background, there are a lot of chickens again. Now, you are in here because you want to know if you have to take an IELTS or any language test for your registration process. And the answer there is yes and no. It actually depends on your situation. Now, before we proceed with this question, um, please be advised that you still actually have to read the official postings of the Coro language requirements posted in their website. And this will be just a supplementary video for it after reading that one. So I will post the link in the description below for you to read and then you come back in here and watch this one. Okay, so when it comes to the official languages, Philippines is almost the same with Ireland. Both countries have two official languages widely used and accepted with um, Ireland officially acknowledging English as one of its um, main communication language. Now for the Coro language requirements, it is actually set by the Coro Registration Board to be able to gauge your uh, ability to communicate effectively while working in Ireland. The language requirement is actually applicable to those who have taken the standard route under Section 38 of the Act. Now for this one, Since able to communicate in Ireland is one of its critical requirements, the general linguistic competence standard set by set on Coru Registration Board is set at C1 um, on the CEFR or Common European Framework of Reference for Languages. C1 is actually considered an advanced level. And for some professions, they have a higher minimum standard. An example of this is the speech and language therapist. This is due to the nature of the work itself. They have to have an in-depth knowledge on the grammar, the syntax of the language. Um, the second one actually is a is for radiographers like me or radiation therapists. This is because of the greater risk to public um, due to the nature of the ionizing radiation. So an example of that is if one of your patients um, is asking why they should do the scan, you should be able to communicate well enough to make the patient feel safe to proceed. Now let's go to the main question. Do you need to take any language test for your coro registration? The answer is generally all applicants are required to take the language test and the specific score band for each profession. You can actually ch check on the description below. I'll post it in there. And however, however, there are categories, categories provided by coro itself where you may be exempted from this one. For the first category, you have completed a Coro approved qualification that is awarded in Ireland, um, which is which should be listed on the which should be listed on the approved qualification bylaws indicated by your profession. An example of this one is you are a radiographer graduate from the University of Cork. You do not have to provide a language test to prove your competency on the language itself. Number two is the second category. You can provide an evidence that your professional qualification, including your practice placement, was acquired through the English of medium. Ah, for, was acquired through the, uh, the medium of English. An example of this one is 
a certificate of a certificate of English major provided by your university. Now, for the third category, you can provide evidence that you have lived in and practiced your profession in a uh, country that has English as its one of the official language in there in a period of not, le not less than two years in the past five years. For uh, example of this, you can pro for the past two years, you should provide a certificate of English medium from your employers. And then, so I guess that's it. If you belong to these categories, you can actually present this certificate instead of your language test. So this ends my video. I hope it helped you on your core process. And I guess, um, oh, don't forget to follow and subscribe. Whoa. <laughs> okay, see you guys. Thank you.